Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. Thank you for all those of you who have congratulated me on becoming the chairman of the Collier Village Council. Thank you very, very much. If you watch Impromptu Tuesday video, you would have seen that I uploaded a video where someone sent me a video to react to, and I reacted to where someone actually were nifty outdoors, I believe. They took bottles and they cut off the top of the bottle. So, what they did, they took bottles, they cut off the top of one bottle. They drill a hole in the cover of another and just imagine that is not here and they put it in this like that with a thread or a string or a rope coming out from this bottle of water going up to this bottle with the plants. This was a self-watering technique and um, I thought it was very very innovative and I thought to myself perhaps I can do this but in a different way. Let me just tell you why this happens or why this can work whether you use the water with the rope up or down. The thing is that once there is a way for water to travel or to go through it will pass when you have the, the soil on top it will dry out eventually the plant will take off the moisture or sun or the point is it will dry out on top and there's water below and there's a medium a way for the water to go up now water will move from an area of high concentration to low concentration as long as there's a way for it to go through so even for evaporation this technique could also work without the rope evaporation will happen and the water will go up rise even if the water do not rise, because of the rope the, and because this is filled with water and the top will be drying out constantly because the plants will be taking in moisture, the water will move from the high concentration up the rope to the low concentration and this is how it will work and same thing happening with this technique. So I'm just going to show you exactly what I did and show you the results because it did work and I will tell you more about it. Let's go ahead. I fill this up with water and then I use a cotton cloth or a bathtub wheel. It have a lot of cotton. I think this is mainly cotton. I roll it up and then I put piece under the soil here and then this part here. Now what happened is because water will move from an area of high concentration to low concentration as I told you meaning there is extremely wet moist and that was dry so the water came up the dry cloth went down the dry cloth and would work faster because of gravity and went in here. Now as you can see this part is dried and this part is wet. So this goes to show that the water is moving constantly from an area of high concentration down the cloth which is like a medium, this is what it used to go down but what I was doing, I had a stick under here hold on because what happened is, let me just see if I can find a way right, I had to use this stick to keep the cloth off of the pail because it's in water down there the water was going down on the pail and just going in there instead Right, so this is an idea that can work out pretty well. I'm quite sure just by watching it, you might think of something to do in your own market garden. And let me just show you already a tomato here, right here, started to sprout. So as you can see, there's dry. Let's see how dry there is. Now, if you notice, the top is dry, but the bottom is wet. What is happening is that the water is slowly moving from an area of higher concentration, which is here, to lower concentration. And obviously, it will start from the bottom, and eventually, the top will become the top here, which is dry, will eventually look like this here, which is moist. But this idea can work pretty well. As I told you, I saw this on Instagram Tuesday when I reacted to the video, and I thought to myself, I can try this out. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it out in my planter stand right here. I'm going to try it out right here. So, I'm going to try to find a way to put either a pail of water here and on the next end over there and then have a cloth right here lying down or maybe I might put it from here to here so that the, the water can come from the pill up here come down on here and then have another pill somewhere here so this area will be constantly moist and obviously like I will put the cloth to pass between here and here so no matter what moisture might not go directly to the plant but because there will be moist the water will be passing through so this is an idea I think that can work pretty well and it's very economical because you can fill your container of water and you don't need to come and wet it every two days or three days if you have enough if you have a big enough pail as i told you this lasted about about three to four days and it's extremely hot in the greenhouse so i think we should also take into consideration that evaporation might have been happening but it's not as constant of course because we can see that it worked if that was dry then we can say okay the water here disappeared from evaporation in the atmosphere but here is extremely moist it's moist it's moist and it's working so I want to encourage you of course I hope this video isn't too long and I'm talking too much but please be encouraged that you should try out this idea find a way with your bucket garden to, to try out this idea and being in, innovative 
be very creative in using out this idea because it worked for me of course guys i hope that you enjoyed this video feature thank you very much for requesting that i reacted to the video that i did on tuesday if there's a video that you want me to react to don't forget you could leave a comment below on any of the videos of agro sweet back garden or you could send me a message via whatsapp number one seven six seven six one seven zero two two four don't forget to check out my other youtube channel which is called juno sweet just a commentary i will post the link below of course guys thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel and don't forget when you press subscribe there's a bell next to will subscribe click on it so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video on agro sweet back garden thank you for liking our facebook page thank you for following us on twitter and on instagram and to encourage you to remember a backyard garden in some ways will definitely keep the doctors away and agro sweet is out